Ross, so you know we've spoken a lot about this home record, and that's a two 0 victory at home. Is, is that a, is that the first building block to getting that home form where we want it to be? I mean, I mean, yeah, of course we, we've we've spoken about it a lot, haven't we? And I said I said it's not something that I'm always a big believer that we should address the address a problem or address an issue, and rather than just sort of like sweep it under the carpet and, and not discuss it. So we have discussed it a lot, and amongst the staff, obviously here we've discussed it, and amongst the players. So I think. Um, it's just trying, trying to get that out to show we care and to show we've got a bit of fight. And uh, uh, in, in games like this, it's almost because they do have a lot of possession. You can have that away element as well. So um, it's small steps, it's baby steps. And I mean, the, in, we had them six in a row, and of the three so far, we've won one, drawn one, lost one. So it's not the end of the world. And like you come off and you say, like, obviously, Boreham Woods beat Chesterfield today, and that tells you the level that they were on Tuesday night. So. Um, it's not the end of the world, like I said, and, and, and it's good to good to get some points on the board at home and and uh, hopefully start a bit of a run here. Hopefully, that's the point, right? Yeah, of course. And how how did you rate the performance? Because I guess it's quite hard to tell with Dorkin. You know, they, they they really like to play forward at the end. There, they had what four players forward from when they were defending a corner. And well, I mean, they love to go for it. We went for it as well. How did you rate it? Um, I mean, you knew you always know they're going to have the ball. Mm -hmm. um, they want to build, and, and our objective is is, is to try and try and make them uncomfortable and, and as you probably see we were man for man first half and they're in a 3-5-2 we're in a sort of 4-3-3 three, three, and we're trying to get tight and, and trying to make them go long so it seemed to work and, and, and it might look like they have lots of possession but I like to think we, we have a lot of the chances and we break and we counter from from, from ha trying to win it as high, up possible, high as possible as we can um, and taking advantage of that 3 v 3 on the back line so um, yeah and then, and then they move into that 4-3-3 three, three. they move into that about 10 minutes into the maybe 15 minutes into the second half which sort of froze us a little bit and then suddenly your distance is a little bit different so we're just trying to get maybe move into that 4-4-2 press um, which we finally got into and we were able to make them kick a little bit longer but I mean God, you can see sometimes we drop off a little deep and you're trying to protect what you've got and that's just natural that's football right and we, we've played the game in their half and we've been attacking and aggressive and on the front foot for 80 minutes for us to maybe be a little bit bit off it and drop a little bit deeper for 10 minutes it's all right and we finally managed to get a little bit higher and get some more pressure on the ball and obviously we scored by with a goal going out wide which we've which we've worked a lot on so um they're not easy to play against it's not enjoyable to play against them um but yeah it's done Tyler Cordner and Ryan Glover came back into the side was that a big help of course yeah they're good players um thought um obviously then losing Corey early isn't helpful but thought Tyler Frost coming on at right back was exceptional um, for had you on centre back was exceptional, and um, yeah, of course, ha ha getting the best players on the pitch and the best score on the pitch is you stand more chance of winning a football match. And it's a, it's a game of players, and the team with the best players nine times out of ten wins. And of course, it's good to have them have them back on the pitch. You mentioned obviously Corey coming off quite early there, with the way the squad is, and, and there's a real lack of centre backs in the squad, isn't there? Obviously, like Hadji got got in there and did a brilliant job, but is that a bit of a worry now? Obviously, now we've got a, a week off, which is brilliant, but. Is that a worry? No, not really. I mean, we've got four centre backs. We've got Parts, we've got Tyler, we've got Corey, we've got Hadji. And, and albeit Hadji plays as a right centre back or right back, Hadji is a, is a centre back. Um, Parts is a holder midfielder who can play centre back. And um, Parts will be our emergency centre back. Um, but ultimately, um, we have four centre backs. Um, it might, just might not look like that. And Tyler's been brought in. Tyler is a winger, a wing back, um, is uh, someone who can play as a 10. Uh, but ultimately, he can play. He's a utility player as well. He can play right back, left back, left wing back, right wing back. So that's one of the reasons why he was brought in. And uh, he might not like me, hear me say that, but as um, soon as that happened, my first thought was let's get Tyler on at right back, who I thought was exceptional, by the way. And, and personally, my man the match um, to come on and probably not expect to come on after seven or eight minutes. Um, and then uh, Hadji to centre back, which, as you can see, is fine. Cheers, Ross. Thank you, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.